Welcome to Evening Prayers for Thursday the 29th of July 2021. Our theme for this evening is staying focused on God. Let us pray. Come, creator, helper and friend, come and be with us. Come though our thoughts go this way and that, Come, though our dreams are other than yours. Come, though we've forgotten to listen and care. Come, creator, helper and friend, and focus our love in your love. Encourage our hopes in your hope and speak to our hearts. Remind us of your patient and steadfast love. Amen. Well, uh, a prayer of calling for this evening is a song which comes from Zimbabwe. Uya Mose, come all you people, come praise your maker. Uya Mose, tina matemwari. Uya Mose, tina matemwari. wisdom and truth. We thank and praise you that you show us how to overcome temptation and to keep our focus on you. We thank you and praise you that you never give up on us even when we get things wrong. And we thank you and praise you that when we go off course you lead us back on track. Thank you, Lord God, for your constant love. Amen. Our reading tonight comes from Exodus chapter 32, verses 19 to 26. It's the time in the story when Moses has been up the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments from God and spending time learning of God's word for his people. He's left the Israelites back at the camp on the, the ground level with Aaron in charge of them. And they've got a, a bit lost with Moses away for so long to the point where they have made a calf out of gold, whom they are now worshipping as their God. Well, Moses returns to the camp and this is what he finds. When Moses approached the camp and saw the calf and the dancing, 
his anger burned and he threw the tablets out of his hands, breaking them to pieces at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf the people had made and burnt it in the fire. Then he ground it to powder, scattered it on the water and made the Israelites drink it. He said to Aaron, what did these people do to you that you led them into such great sin? Oh, do not be angry, my lord, Aaron answered. You know how prone these people are to evil. They said to me, make us gods who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who brought us up out of Egypt, we don't know what's happened to him. So I told them, whoever has any gold jewellery, take it off. Then they gave me the gold and I threw it into the fire and out came this calf. Moses saw that the people were running wild and that Aaron had let them get out of control and so become a laughing stop to their enemies. So he stood at the entrance to the camp and said, whoever is for the Lord, come to me. And all the Levites rallied to him. This passage reminds me of those stories we hear of a parent coming home after a few nights away and finding out that their teenage child has held a massive party in their home and destroyed it all. We have people running wild because Aaron has not kept control over them. We have Aaron being questioned about the golden calf and his reply, I don't know, they made me do it. We threw the gold on the fire and it turned into a golden calf. It wasn't my fault. If you read the actual version of what happened, the people were nervous. Moses had been gone for ages, so they asked Aaron to make them some gods because they were missing Moses and no one knew where he was. Aaron thought this was actually a good idea, so he asked for the gold and then he shaped it into a calf using tools. This wasn't an accident of gold on a fire which happened to change into this shape. But there is a seriousness in this story. The moment the people have nothing to help them stay focused on God, they lose touch with God and begin to look for things to replace him in their lives. And so the question tonight comes to us. What is your process of regular devotion? How do you stay spiritually connected to God? When and how do you worship? Have you returned to church? Do you ever intend to return to church? How do you commit yourself to God in order to stay focused on God? in your life. Lord, you know that sometimes, often even, our hearts are not in the right place. Sometimes we can't be bothered to pray or to worship. We find it easier to read a magazine than the Bible. Sometimes we're good at not desiring our neighbour's ox. But often we do covet her BMW and in envy her holidays. Sometimes we do our bit for charity. But often we say what's mine is mine and it's staying that way. Sometimes we do love you with all our hearts and love our neighbours as ourselves. But often we love more the one we see in the mirror every day. Forgive us, we pray. Cleanse our hearts, fill them with the treasures of your love, that you may be always pleased to dwell there. For your name's sake. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, our next prayer in response to what we've heard is the song, As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. for those struggling to stand firm today, those in fragile relationships, those exhausted by their work and responsibilities, those disillusioned by the church, those who have lost their way and their focus, those whose health is unreliable, have been pain is constant and suffering relentless. Those struggling on to the hope that life can change. Those unable to go on believing in a God of love, in a world of hate and violence. Gracious God, reach out to them and infuse our vulnerability with your love. Love that was scourged and crucified, but which rose again. Amen and are sending out prayer. May we focus on the future and find God waiting there. May we watch the horizon and know the sun will rise. May we see clouds gathering and know there will be laughter after the rain. And may we trust in God's promised future as we live through our present world. Amen.